what's up? It's Mark Letiria from Sargi Bubby here with Ryan Storms. Rig tour. We're in beautiful Breckenridge, Colorado, but it's not ski season. It's spring season. Anyway. Uh, Paul? Yeah, so this is what I'm playing on the tour. We'll start with the guitar. PRS Fiore signature model. Let's see. Swamp Ash body, maple neck, custom pickups for the guitar. We got some fun switching options that I use to incorporate different combinations of the pickup. Uh, 10 inch radius, 22 frets. And it sounds really good. Um, so this is room actually, nice. Cool, and then we have a cable. Cable is a revelation cable, it's a very good cable. Uh, you know what, there's actually another guitar. This is the PRS NF53 which just came out, really cool. Um, these are these narrow field pickups, so they're single coils, but they're noiseless, uh, which is great. And I'm using this for a couple tunes in the set. It's nice to have that sort of pure T-style sound uh, on a couple tunes. What else we got? All right, let's go to the board. Get down here with the board. All right, so it goes in to the MXR Poly Blue Octave, which is a great octave pedal. Which does uh, put in some phase shift there. And then we actually have a phaser. <laughs> it's the EVH phase 90. Right? Then we have the Jackson Audio Fuzz. It's a pretty unique device. Inside, there are chips that you can take out and put in. Not potato chips, but like circuit board chips. And I have a chip in here that's kind of like a fuzz face. It's pretty loud because I have it set as a boost. So I actually don't use the fuzz by itself. I use it as a boost with one of these other overdrive pedals. It also has an octave up sound, which is pretty cool. But here it is by itself on the volume. Chat Breaker, which is a new pedal that apparently they used AI to design. <laughs> uh, I think they were like, write us a script to make a pedal, and it did. Uh, and it's real cool, man. It's it's a nice kind of mid game, sort of low gain overdrive. Overdrive that I'll use for single note stuff, but it also acts as a nice boost. For these two pedals, the J Rocket Melody Overdrive. This is my signature drive. So, here, here's the melody and the chat breaker. Kind of gives it a nice gain bump. The next pedal is an HRM by J Rocket. Combine kind of like maybe that one with the melody for some like lead tones, right? Here's the melody with the fuzz. This is a neat sound. Nice and fuzzy. That'll put some hair on your chest. You know what? I already have plenty on my Italian, so don't worry about it. The next one is the Jackson Audio New Wave, which is a chorus pedal that I helped them design, and it's wicked cool. Man. chorus sound and then I have it set it has this cool ramp function which will change speeds for you on the fly so we go from kind of like a mellow chorus to this more aggressive vibrato sound This is kind of making a comeback. Dunlop volume pedal, which I really dig, has a nice sweep, doesn't mess with your tone at all. So that's that. And then it goes into the Lion 6 M5. I still use this thing. Uh, it's been modded 
by uh, JHV3, Jack Vaughn. Unfortunately, he doesn't do the mods anymore, but you put this switch in that helps me get to the presets a lot faster. I'm using it for tremolo right now, but I also use it for, uh, what else? I got a bunch of things in here, like this sound. If you need that. Um, what else do I use it for? I use it for a nice slap echo. And uh, it's a couple other things, you know. Next is the Boss guitar synthesizer, which I threw on here just for, to have kind of a wild card for pedal. Um, I don't know what it's going to sound like when I step on it. Let's see. Oh, there's a string section. Kind of neat, kind of cool for maybe rhythm. It does a gazillion things. Maybe I'll get down there and find some other sounds. Um, next is the Keeley Echoes Delay. I have set for kind of a sort of a mellow quarter note tape echo. Pretty basic. I love the way the sounds go. Um, next one is the Walrus Delay, the Mako D1. This one's set to a quarter note and a dotted eight. stereo setup which sometimes I do for like Mark Lettieri group shows it'll bounce the delays back and forth or so you'll get dotted eighth on one side and quarter note on the other uh, I can combine the two delays <laughs> and then I have a reverb pedal by TC Electronic Board's built by Brian O'Million in McKinney, Texas. Uh, go, the output is, uh, this is a cordial cable. I normally plug this into here, but this input isn't working. The rigors of the road, folks, sometimes things break. So the cable goes to the amp. And this is one of my all-time favorite amps. This is a Pure 64 Mean Street, built by Pure 64 Amps in upstate New York. It's a guy named Mark Giamatti. And I've had this amp for quite a long time, actually. Uh, if you are familiar with any of my solo records, the tone on the song Montreal, for example, is primarily that amp. Um, this amp was also used on Family Dinner Volume 2, uh, and it's been on every one of my solo records since, like, since Spark and Echo, actually. Um, all the ones where it sounds like it's, it's a live band in a room, it's that amp mixed with a couple other amps, but this one does the lion's share of a lot of that clean tone stuff. So. It's also a great pedal platform, as hopefully you heard. And um, I use these picks, the, these jumbo picks by Chipsy. Um, this one has the nice old school coffee cup uh, motif. And then I also use the big flame rock and roll ones. Can we get a demonstration? Yes, you can. Let's see. Big tone, big pick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I actually use another Dunlop product. Uh, these are just Dunlop celluloid. Picks Dunlop strings, Converse All Star shoes, Volcom jeans, and a free t shirt from TC Electronic, which fits nice because it's got the rings around the sleeves. Thanks for watching, everybody.